I'm finding that there are some people surrounding my camp at this moment that are watching me relentlessly. They're watching the growth and they're seeing it happen. And basically what is taking place is they're trying to fuel off the energy, trying to hold it back, trying to, can I say, I want to say they're trying to just fuel that energy to get some type of, to prevent the growth. And it's okay, because I thank you. I thank everyone and anyone who was a part of what took place in my life today. And for those who are following and watching, you know exactly who you are. You know, it's powerful when you can sit back and see sabotagers. And you can see people who are very, you know, intrigued by the things that you do in your business, in your career, and the way that you handle things. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 71. This is a very critical episode, and this is something that is historically going to be timestamped with today's date and today's time as understanding the balance of good. You know, I am so grateful to have met some of the most beautiful people in my life just recently. And, you know, one thing about success is that no matter how successful one grows to become, they always grow out of that success and move themselves into another level of success. So shout out to Mr. Will and Miss Kaylee. Thank you so much for being an integral part of my life and showing me so much, showing me the commitment, showing me the love, showing me the generosity, and showing me the value of what it takes to really be in a committed relationship in today's society. Um, it's, it's great. It's great. And also showing me the hospitality of the Southern, wonderful Southern world. You know, um, it's amazing how when we meet people from a distance, how loving and how kind and how generous and how giving they are. And I just know that that is a symbol and a sign of success. And in this symbol of success, what I recognize is how to be patient, how to watch from a distance and observe success and be willing to give success to all and, and to leave that seed of hope there so that individual or that group of individuals, when they leave, they're better than what they, how they came. They're in a better position. Both, everyone is in a better position from the relationship, from the meeting, from the commitment. And that is powerful. And that's something that I, I also talked to a client about today. The importance and the value of allowing success to grow and nurture within others so you can see them go, so you can see them move to another level. And that's exactly what we want to do here at Scales to Success, LLC, as well as Chronicles of a Nonprofit. We want you to understand that there are just as many great things that takes place as there are, you know, areas of of agitation, areas of lows. Shout out to Scott. You came in so phenomenally great and you helped heal a situation where someone tried to sabotage the healing that is taking place around the area of wealth, health, and abundance that is really and truly a part of hardworking people. People that get up to go to work at four o'clock in the morning, people that get up and go to college, people that get up and go to a trade school, people that start their own business with no idea how it's going to turn out. You are significantly 
appreciate it. And the way that you came in and showed me that you were an angel that is in the midst of, you know, those who really set out to try to destroy, you were that person that said, yes, you are that one. I see what you're doing. I recognize you. And I'm going to let others know. So I thank you. Thank you. And one other thing about being successful. Entrepreneurs, we got 17 in the in the chat. One thing that I want to leave tonight with you understanding is you don't have to go and toot and blow your own horn because your works will speak for itself. And yes, you will have people who will downplay your success, be grateful for those people, thank them, um, mute them, <laughs> do whatever you got to do in order to recognize the greatness within you. Because they're just saying for you to look at yourself and give yourself that accolade and that pat on the back. If you give yourself the pat on the back, you recognize the hard work, you recognize the dedication, you recognize the commitment. If you try to make it work, even though all odds are stacked against you, because you feel that this is something that can be fruitful in the end, you keep trying and you never give up because that's what many have done and they were only centimeters away of the full-fledged success. They were almost there. And, you know, again, <laughs> today marks a great, great area in the area of success. And I celebrate today. I celebrate today. I celebrate the healing. I celebrate seeing my wonderful friend, Mrs. C., I'm so glad that you made it back home. I'm so glad that whatever was supposed to be done in the past that never caught up to you, you were able to stand strong. You were able to force yourself to keep moving forward, stay positive and move from that. And you made it right back, right back. <laughs> I'm grateful to the tenants who worked everything out within the midst of, you know, uh, the lot I'm glad that everything worked out phenomenally well there because what takes place is communication is the best key. And when you realize that it is what it is, everybody just breathe, take a, take a breath, and before you know it, all will be great. That's what I want to send out to you. As entrepreneurs, we're going to have our highs, we're going to have our lows, but I guarantee you more, there will be more highs than there will be lows. There'll be more positives than there will be negatives. It's just that we tend to make the negatives bigger because we put more fuel and energy and vibrancy into it because we can't believe it. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to understand you are the best of the best. And you can handle this. There's nothing that can be done that hasn't already been done. It's all been done. And now, you know, it's a time of retrograding, of going back over, of looking through and really fueling the and observing what it is you've learned in your life. And when you can do that, entrepreneurs, you shine. You shine because you see that there are traps set just as if a person is trying to trap a deer in the woods. They're going to put those, uh, what do you call them? Traps. They're going to trap them, but see the discernment of listening in the way that the deer move, you know, through it is what is going to Keep everything right there as it should be. And before you know it, you're out of the forest. So that's what I want to say today. October 24th. Wow. 
It's almost time for the lunar eclipse. It's almost time for that great in energy where the sun and the moon meet. That equinox, that fall equinox is almost here. Mm. It's almost time for the ancestral energies to fumigate the universe and take out what no longer serves us and leave us to build for another year to fuel for another year, to gain success and momentum for another year. And as we do that, I guarantee you entrepreneurs, we're going to learn more about who we are. So I just want you to sit back in your journals and I want you to journal what makes this day so profoundly impactful to you. I give a shout out for everything that has ever happened to me in the month of October. And I am so grateful because the gratitude is going to open the door to succeed even greater. And, you know, sometimes we got to, we got to remember if we're the only ones working at a level of success that is higher than those that choose not to, what are we doing? We're showing that we have this stamina and guess what? The more you do something, the better at it you will become that's why you have so many gamers in the world you got a million gamers in the world trying to master something that may take a lifetime to master and they're so deep into it and so addicted to it till that's all they know some people are doing it for absolutely free living out uh, uh endorphin that is part of a lifestyle that they're not they're doing it voluntarily what are they gaining from that? They're gaining the ability to feel that there's a reward. And the success is the reward. Is that it? I don't know. If I can't see something being gained from all the hard work that I establish, if I can't see a society growing, if I can't see the movement of, you know, information that I'm sharing being vitally used for the purpose and the good of all, then I'm wasting my time. No matter how much I win, no matter how many bells and whistles ding every time I make a move. That's how the traps are set. Because if you think about it, like I said, those deer traps, if we go back to that analogy, entrepreneur, those deer traps will make that bell sound to let someone know that something has occurred. There's going to be a sound. There's going to be a, a bit, uh, some type of, of reward sound to let people know, oh, your trap was set and he fell into it. She fell into it. So it's not about that. It's about taking your time and maneuvering through your process the best way you know how. And there is absolutely no reason to try to compete with anyone or anything near or surrounding you because you're on, you're in your own lane. When, when you're in your own lane, you're going to be able to do it your way and it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be great. So I want you to hold on to that as well. Entrepreneurs, you know, and I give a shout out to all the wonderful, wonderful people I have met on Facebook. <laughs> I have met over 110 people on Facebook just in the last maybe 10 days, five days. And phenomenally to listen to the stories, to listen to how people come to do the things that they do and why they are where they are in life and you know, some people, of course, is going to play the game to find out what's going on. And this is how the wonderful, magnificent thing happened today. And I met a wonderful man who more or less, you know, the city of Youngstown has given us the the approval that we we pass all of our inspection, all inspections pass. So when someone thought that it was going to be for the demise it wasn't. <laughs> I just have to share that. It wasn't. And it will never be because it is not that. 
So whatever you thought you knew, whatever you thought you heard, whatever you felt we should have done, you know, I'm just grateful that we follow the rules that is supposed to be followed and we dot our I's and we cross our T's because there are some people who will take our kindness and use it for an excuse to have a reason to not do anything but to complain, to talk about, to disassociate, to have someone else look bad so they can look good. And that's the way of the world. And when we realize that the universe is about to extract that energy for the rest of the year until that vibration chooses to yield itself back up, especially for those who are ignoring the same spiritual vibrations that did the things on the planet that kept us in turmoil, that kept us in unease, that kept us in confusion, that kept us in arguments. Don't forget there is a commander that is going to bring victory. There is a commander a chief commander that is going to give us individualized victory. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing on following the rules. Keep administering and learning. Continue to study, study, study. And just document, document, document everything. Everything before you know it. The world becomes easier to deal with and you don't have to hide. You don't have a reason to hide. You know, education camps are very important to have in our lives because it teaches us how to go into a living environment and live successfully. It will teach us the ways of how to maneuver through education, how to get a degree, how to really and truly and profoundly impact oneself to where they will do what they need to do and not try to manipulate a situation because they can, because they're in in desperate need and they'll do anything in order to get what it is that will push them ahead. And so entrepreneurs, this is what I want you to take Tonight, again, when you journal, make sure you talk about the greatness of what is happening in October for you and look at every single situation as working for your benefit and nothing more and nothing less because that's how you become your greater version. Thank you so much for being here, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to this podcast. And even for those who are in the bushes saying, what is she talking about? Oh, now we got to do this. And now we got to go here. Keep on plotting because before you know it, you're going to make me real great. You're going to make me my greatest version. And that is going to be something to really, really behold. Because I ain't no stopping. Not this one. Ain't no stopping us. And there's more because everyone I touch, I put the, the seed of hope into them And when my time is over and it's all said and done and I'm retired and I'm living my life somewhere, ain't bothering nobody, guess what? I'm going to have 100,000 more coming up, popping up just like weeds. (laughs) So you'll always have a job if you're a hater. (laughs) So peace. Thank you so much for being consistent. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for being the beautiful version of who you are in the shoes you're in because you're doing that thing. You're doing it. Peace, and we'll see you next time.